everybody. Welcome back. Um, I've got a journal completed I wanted to share with you. We'll do a flip through. This is my latest. Um, I've named this Papillion and it is an altered book. This I had taken an Edith Holden um, Nature Note. It's either the Nature Notes or uh, the other one that she's done. I can't think of it right now. Um, and I just, I've gutted it, and then I've, I've pa painted the cover, built it up with a frame, and then added the uh, Tim Holtz, these are the butterfly dye, and then this is one of the labels from Tracy uh, Love Junk Journals on Etsy. So there is the back. I've kept it fairly plain, as you can see, but I'm absolutely loving how this came out. This is, um, I'm going to probably have a few more similar to this. I mean, I, I never do anything twice, but um, because I've got so many of this size of a book page, which, by the way, this journal is 7 by 9 and a quarter. It's got about a 1 inch spine, and it's pushed to the limit. So, um slightly different journal in that because I opted to make this a two signature and this has got two, over 200 pages. It's approximately 208 pages in here. But because um, I did not build a larger spine, the problem I had is um, there's really no room for me to embellish. So this is um, going to be what I would consider a fairly plain one for someone who wants to come in and add those things themselves. But let's just jump in and you'll be able to see um, it's it's a bit plainer than I normally do, but I have um, done the hollow back spine here so it's going to lie perfectly flat. This has got papers in it um, that are going to be suitable for mixed media because I've got some heavy, uh, about a 300 GSM uh, handmade paper in there, so you'll see it as we go through. Um, again, I've kept it simple. You could add a pocket if you wanted to. I've um, done a lot of uh, stitching. This is a tuck spot here, and then the, I've made a few tuck spots here and there. There's another one. These are from Tracy's shop. Absolutely love those, so I've made a tuck spot on each side of that. Again, I've incorporated... Um, some of the papers back into it from the Edith Holden. This is all tea dyed paper. I've included a lot of vintage floral um, and nature book pages. You can see, um, and then this is really old paper from uh, a French couple that I purchased this off of, the old notebooks. Some trim I've stitched there. A lot of stitching throughout this journal. Uh, this is some of the um, handmade paper. Love that. Absolutely love it. This flips over. And then I've just done some punching there to adhere that. Again, more old book pages. So uh, it's all ready to have. Um, these are some of Tracy's um, kits in her shop done some avocado dyed paper. Again, this is a very old um, butterfly book page that I had. Here I've made these um, giant coin envelopes. And I did not leave a place behind, so you've only got the pocket within the coin envelope. But I wanted to make this um, craft paper a bit sturdier. And then over here I've just added um, some of the quotes that I found um, were really nice and I just wanted to keep those. Um, another beautiful page from Edith Holden. Another old book page. Love this page <laughs> for obvious reasons. <laughs> and then that's the center of the signature. Really pleased with how this um, journal has come out. And I have to say, I'm really wanting to keep it myself. <laughs> uh, another large coin 
pocket there for you. Just, um, as you know, I've been struggling to get my mojo back, and it just, I spent about three days just really, I'd start a project, get frustrated, sit it over to the side, you know, you go on looking for inspiration, and it just really was getting me down, and I don't even know why, I just, um, wanted to play with the butterflies and I thought well <laughs> I really want to work with some of my um, watercolors this is the handmade paper I was talking about so that's I love that paper um, so that's how I ended up you know making the butterflies and then it just that was what actually just put this idea to um, create this this is another little tuck spot here um, and then the, on to the second signature. Um, this has been tea dyed. This is, um, it's just a very light. You could tuck something in there, but uh, what I've done here is I've included these, um, a bit of notebook on top of the page so that you could do some journaling. And then there's also tuck spots on both sides here. So yeah, it's been a struggle, I tell you, um, since I did um, Tracy's journal, I've really, really just been struggling to get back into, um, you know, to find inspiration for my next journal, and then this this one happened, and I love it. Um, this one, I've created some little um, flip opens using the page, and then I made a couple of little pockets so that you could add a couple of tags in there. You've got writing space here. But as I said, this just ended up, it really should have probably, I should have um, built the spine with a two inch spine and then I would have had the room. Um, this is a beautiful page, book page. I love that book. So lots of different things. Everything's nature or uh, botanical. Uh, this is, um, some more of the paper flowers I've been making using up book pages and I love how those have come out. I love the blue button and then I just took this was an off cut of fabric and I've just added it to some more of the book page and I just I love that. Another old uh, nature lover book and it talks about the walks at various times of the year. Another old book page. Oh, it's beautiful. You never, I just never tire of, of uh, Edith Holden's book pages. They are stunning. So yeah, you can see this is very different to what um, I would normally do. But um, I still I absolutely love it. And again, another pocket on each of these sides and room for you to write or add a photo. Another image from the book I've just stitched on there. Some more of the fabric uh, <coughs> trim. And then another flip out here. I love these. The tea at dyeing on this particular batch came out beautifully. Sometimes they're really deep and then other times not. The, the, like this one, I mean it's the same tea but it's got more of a yellow. Um, and this is like a really rich. Um, anyways, yes. So as you can see a lot of stitching throughout. And then um, this is the back of the journal. So there it is. If you're interested in this, this is going to be up for sale in my shop. I have loved it. And as I said, I, I am torn. I, I don't know. But I will put it up for sale. But... Um, so if you're interested, you can check that out in the description box below. I'll have a link to my shop. 
Um, okay, so let me set this to the side because we need to discuss the giveaway journal. There's been a lot of confusion, a lot of questions about what is re expected, and I don't know. I thought I made it, you know, pretty clear in the previous, but I'll go over it again. I'm going to also put a link to the page I submitted to Angela Kerr's Friendship Journal um, Challenge. That is purely as an example so that you can see what I am expecting. Um, it doesn't have to be that elaborate. It's just so that you get an idea. I intended to go back and link Char Fisher's examples, but when I checked, she had removed those, and I don't know why, but for some reason she's removed all of those entries now. So I'm going to have the link below that you can check out mine. Um, you're going to take a sheet of copy paper that is whatever the size is to your country. In the UK and Europe it is A4. In the United States it's a US letter size. In Canada it's an 8.5 by 11 is what I've been told. All I want you to do is tea, day, tea dye or coffee dye or avocado dye, something. I don't want just a plain white sheet of paper. Um, and then you will, once you've dyed that paper, you're going to fold it in half so that I can stitch it into my journal. That's, that's the purpose of this, is so that I will have a page from you that can be stitched in. The other thing I've asked is that somewhere either in a pocket that you've created on the page. I'd like for you to tuck something with your name in it, or if you're like myself, I have my company stamp. I stamp on the page that I submit, or I stamp it on a piece of fabric, then stitch it on there. You don't want anything, you know, stamped in the middle that's going to look ridiculous, but just some place that's, um, you know, kind of on the back of the page, or as I said, if you wanted to take a little sheet of paper and that I could tuck inside the pocket of the page, the whole point being is when these entries come in, I'm once I sew that into my journal, I want to, as I flip through, to be able to know, oh, that came from such and such, not have to go back and, and um, you know, by memory, um, have to try to remember who submitted that page because that you know if there's a big response and I'm hoping there is um, that that's going to be a problem so um, look at my example as I said don't feel intimidated that you've got to do that much to it, it it's just purely so that you can see you're going to decorate this side this side this side and this side and it needs to be a full sheet so that I can actually put that in and sew it in with other entries so that I have something that I can look back on um, in the future. That's, that's what the whole point of a friendship journal is going to be. Um, so I hope that's cleared it up, guys. And I hate to say this, but if, <laughs> if that's not what you're sending if you you know you, if you've got any questions please contact me I'll try to clarify it as best I can I don't know what else I could do to um, to make it any clearer but um, I can only take the entries who have followed my directions and put those in towards the giveaway and I do hope you understand but I feel like if if you can't take the time to watch the the whole <laughs> journal you know instructions on what's required then I'm sorry I've put a lot of time and effort into the giveaway journal so that's a bit disrespectful for me because I am offering my thank you to you guys um, with my with the work that's gone into this and I hope that you will at least take the time to le read the instructions and if you've got any questions it only takes a minute to drop me a line, and I will, I'm more than happy to um, try to clarify for people because I understand if you're new 
and just starting out and you haven't done this look I get nervous every time I submit to somebody else because you know everybody's style is different so I understand that and um, I totally get people are going to have questions and I am happy to answer those so please if you're not sure please 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 contact me before you send me something that is not what I asked for so thank you guys so much I appreciate it and I hope that you are going to have a great weekend and I'll see you back here very soon bye